If I was to pick one of my favourite casts fly fishing anywhere in the world for any species, it would have to be the constant tension cast or what's called the oval cast. Some people have called it the Belgian cast. I'm not going to go into the arguments over the name, but this is the cast you really, really want to learn if you want to cast big heavy flies, if you want to cast into the wind, if you want to cast with the wind on your casting shoulder, then you want to learn this cast. It is absolutely brilliant. Now, one of the things I see happen a lot on the boat is because there's a lot of breeze, often uh, with the electric motor especially, the boat is facing into the breeze. The person on the front is going to have their fly arm, the casting arm on the wind's, windward side. Now, if you're one of those anglers who only ever learnt to cast in the vertical plane like this, then you're going to be in real trouble <laughs> because the fly is now blowing back towards the rod. You're also travelling the fly exactly in line with the rod. It's not a good thing to do with a heavy fly. I've got flies that are going to fly on the front of the boat here. It's a little bit old, but heavy eyes like that clouser. If that hits you or the rod, it's all over Red Rover. So you need to find a way to get the fly out of the plane of the rod and the constant tension cast is a brilliant one for that. So let's look at the basics of that cast without teaching you the whole thing. I just things I see uh, that really work and don't work with this cast. So what we're essentially doing is where, I'll, I'll, I'll teach you this the way I would teach a student just very quickly. If I make a circle in the air with the fly under constant tension, you'll see that the fly behind me goes up in the air and ascends or climbs. Now, if I turn that more into an oval while keeping constant tension on that fly, rather than a full circle, I'm now starting to flatten the top and the bottom of this oval. I'm starting to get more of a cast. But what's happening on the back cast is the loop is essentially reversed. Instead of the loop curling over, the loop is now ascending. In other words, the fly is turning over with an upward trajectory. I'm also taking the fly rod out to the side of my body so the fly is not near me. Now, if I then bring my front cast a little more over my head, I now essentially have a fairly normal front cast with an oval style and an ascending back cast. So the fly essentially is out to the side, up above my head on the back cast, and then over my head on the front cast. Couple of things I've seen with this cast. I've seen this taught as just a low sideways cast and then an over the top front cast. That's okay, but you can't do a forward cast by starting the back cast down low and then coming up and over because that's going to be a dome. So you have to finish for a very brief period of time. There is a, a brief pause where you stop right at the back up high, right up here. Wait for it to load up, then come forward. The other problem with just doing a straight side cast is that the fly will kick sideways and travel around your back. So I much prefer teaching this style of cast where the fly actually climbs. This is an excellent way to cast a fast sink fly line as well because one of the things that happens with fast sinking lines and heavy flies is shock wave and that's a really horrible thing when you do a standard cast you come back and stop the loop curls over the fly dips and kicks back again and it puts shock wave in your heavy line and shock wave through, your uh, through the fly as well as it bounces back. Because the fly is climbing, essentially it runs out of puff. It just literally ascends until gravity just starts to take over and that's when you're coming forward. Absolutely the best way to avoid hitting yourself with a right shoulder wind or hitting yourself with a heavy fly. It's a must learn cast.